Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to afford fitness and making working out a part of your daily budget. Number one, check your statements. Two, limit the booze. And three, see it as an investment. Now, before I go on, guys, give the video a like. If you haven't, then hit subscribe because today I'm gonna to help you make fitness a part of your daily budget. So number one is I want you to check your visa statements or your bank statements, depending on where your money comes out of. And what you need to do is look at the things that you're buying and see if it's something that you just wanted because you were scrolling and it popped up on your feed, or is it something that you actually needed? Like we want a new pair of sunglasses, but we need meat for dinner. So what you need to do is figure out what are your wants and what are your needs, and then you'll be able to cut some of the fat off and then find a little bit of a boost in your revenue so that you can then afford fitness. Number two, limit your booze, especially when you're going out for booze. You think about when you go for a drink and a drink at a restaurant is gonna cost you anywhere from like five bucks on the low end all the way up to 10. I've even seen 13 or $15 for these fancy drinks, which is absolutely crazy. So the question is, can you limit your booze, which will then save you quite a bit of money? So if you're always going out and you're enjoying drinks with your friends, then maybe you should switch up the scenario and invite them back to your house or go to somebody's house. And this way it cuts the cost by probably 75%. But if you're on a fitness journey, then maybe you can afford to limit yourself to just one bottle of wine a week. I remember having this discussion with a former member and she was saying the way that she made her membership work was that she limited the amount of wine she was drinking every night. She actually said that she was drinking one bottle of wine on the weekday and then two bottles of wine on the weekend. Now, I don't know if that's a lot or if that's a little, but I've also heard people drinking that much wine, which just seems to me like a lot. But think about how much that bottle of wine costs. And on a cheap bottle of wine, you're looking at about 20 bucks. So even just on the weekday, she's spending 100 bucks just on something that sure is helping her relax, but it's her limiting her sleep it's adding calories to her food budget, but it's also creating more body fat. So it's actually going against her goals. So for you, are you able to tough it out and count how many bottles of wine that you're drinking a week and see if you can cut that by half next week and do that for four weeks so then we can then make room for your fitness budget. And the third, and this is a big one that I always tell people is that you need to see fitness not as an expense, but more as an investment. We all do these retirement savings plans or we're all looking forward to our pension so we work a lot of hours at work and we see us busting our ass even if it's a job that we don't like but yet we still show up because we know that we gotta make money, we know that we're creating a pension and we're creating this everlasting retirement plan that we're also looking forward to and so we see that as an investment, putting those hours into something that even if we don't like it, we still do it. Now, when it comes to fitness, we have to see that like you're putting money into your health bank, right? The average life expectancy of a Canadian is 81 years old. You gotta ask yourself, how long do you wanna live? But more importantly, how long do you wanna live healthy, where you're free, where you're playing with your grandkids, where you're able to take care of yourself by yourself? I mean, those things, I know we're not thinking about it right now because we're in the hustle and bustle of our daily life, but living a long, healthy, life is way more, there's way more of a benefit to that than us buying those brand new sunglasses or going out to Zaya and buying something new on Zaya. Like all that stuff are things that we want, but they're hundred percent nothing that we need. What we need is to start taking care of ourselves. And what we need to do is start seeing ourselves as investing in our health. And that health is truly wealth. So there we have it guys, the three ways that you're going to make fitness work within your spending budget is that number one, you're going to check your statements to see what you can cross off and never buy again, or at least limit it to maybe once every three months. Number two, can you dine in or drink in with your friends or can you just eliminate it entirely or limit it to just the weekends so that you can cut down on how much you're spending on booze. And number three, can you change your mindset of this is an expense that I'm paying every, every month to seeing it as it's an investment that I'm putting in every month into living the best version of me. So guys, give the video a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and maybe in the comments section, what I wanna know is how do you make fitness work within your spending budget?